In this episode, I'll show you how to make the best French onion soup. The first thing I want to do is add a little bit of butter to the pan, and I'm going to get the pan up to medium high. I'm just melting the butter in the pan, as you can see. As always, I use unsalted butter. That way you can control the salt. You can add as much salt or as little as possible. I have my onions and they're all sliced. I like to slice my onions with the grain to help the slices stay together. I'm gonna add those to the pan and I'm just gonna give these a stir around. Now it looks like a lot of onion, but trust me, once these cook down, it goes to a small amount. And then what we're going to do, an unusual thing that you may not have ever done before, but it really helps, is add three quarters of a cup of water. If you really like the taste of beef stock, which we're going to be adding a bit later on, you can add some. But the water, what this is going to do, is help this onion get up to temperature. I'm going to add a lid to it. After about 10 minutes, if we look inside the pan, you can see that the onions are starting to release the juices. Just look how much they've wilted. And the goal, as we said, was to get the water content out of the onions so they can start to caramelize with their natural sugars. At this stage now, let them cook like this. Every 30 to 60 seconds, we just want to turn them over flatten them out and push them towards the sides and this is going to cause that water evaporation from the onion because we've got the onions in a layer it's going to help caramelize them and this takes about 15 minutes as you can see after about 10 minutes we're already getting this lovely golden color the onions now are releasing their natural sugars so we're just going to spread these out and we're going to go a little bit further than where it's at we're starting to get a good color on there but we'll let this go for a few more minutes more i've taken a pinch of baking soda and had a little bit of water and stirred them together i'm going to add this to the onions what this is going to do is change the ph of the onions and it's going to help pull out the fructose and it'll make these onions sweeter and caramelize them even more now i'm going to add the dry sherry you want to use a dry sherry not a sweet sherry because the fructose from the onions is sweet enough you can see that it's deglazing the pan any fond, any of those brown bits that have stuck to the bottom, now they're gonna come off. Now that we've got the onions where we want them, we're gonna scrape these into a pot. Now we're gonna add a bay leaf into the pot and I've taken some fresh thyme and wrapped a twig around itself. Feel free to use some kitchen twine at home. And now we're gonna add four cups of beef stock. And what we're gonna do is give this a stir I'm going to drop the heat down and let this cook for about 30 minutes. The soup's ready. We're going to pull out the fresh thyme. We're also going to pull out the bay leaf. At this stage now, you can season with salt and pepper to your liking. Always remember that cheese has a little bit of salt in there. So I'm going to take some of the soup and you can see the richness and I'm gonna ladle it into the bowl. I've taken some bread, I've sliced it to about three quarters of an inch thick, sprayed it with some cooking spray and then I've toasted this off in the oven and you can see it's a little bit crisp. The reason why we do that, if we didn't do it, it would get soggy. I'm gonna take a piece of bread, place it into the center and now we're gonna cover this with cheese. Just cover the whole top with Gruyere cheese. Now Gruyere cheese adds a nice nuttiness to this recipe. And we're gonna let this broil for a few minutes until it's golden brown. When it comes out the oven, the soup is gonna be bubbling and the cheese is gonna be melted and the bread would have soaked up some of that delicious soup. Now doesn't that look fantastic. 